right? Everybody can communicate, correct? Yes. yes. Yeah. So in our daily conversations, we can talk to our friend or colleague, but how competent are you? Okay. So that's the question. So this is our common, common end goal that at the end of this course, you can say to yourself that I am a competent communicator. <laughs> All right, that's our target, of course. So you have to believe in yourself first. Okay. How we have to what develop our four basic English language skills in terms of listening, speaking, reading, and writing. And most of you said a while ago that you need to improve your writing because you need to know the grammar rules, right? Yeah. Of course, you're, you're speaking as well. Okay, you, And you have to expand or enrich your vocabulary in terms of speaking and writing. Speaking and writing are the productive skills. You are producing it from your side. While reading and listening, those are receptive skills. Okay, so you are just receiving the information. If you're reading a material, you're just receiving the info, the text. But the question is how we are going to comprehend and understand those, those information. Okay, and also listening. How fast are you to comprehend when you are listening something, correct? But the challenge here is the speaking and writing because you are the one who's producing it. The, the, the information must be come from your end, okay? So we need to master our four basic language skills. And of course, we have to be fluent in English by enriching our vocabulary, following the grammar rules, and in terms of speaking, we have to follow the correct pronunciation, diction, and intonation. Clear? Yes. Okay. Okay, so this is a very important tip why some of us still have the difficulty in speaking English, okay? You will have to think in English, not just like we are translating from Filipino language to Tagalog, okay? Like from English to Tagalog, well, it's not like that. So every time you, if you want to speak in English, you have to think in English, okay? And it will just automatically comes out, all right? So avoid translating words to your respective language or dialect as much as possible. Okay, these are just some tips. Set the language into English or your mobile phone, especially the Arab nationalities. They are into, you know, Arabic text. So that's the advice for the Arab nationalities. And of course, I know you, we Filipinos love to read books, listening, informative English podcasts or blogs or TED Talks, or in YouTube. There are a lot of social media platforms. Or right? K-dramas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Korean dramas. Yes. <laughs> because there are subtitles in it. Right? Yes. So still, still, we are improving our English communication skill there, our English comprehension. Okay? And, of course, we need to practice speaking in English towards our friends, our colleagues, okay? So, make it a habit, correct? Because practice makes perfect and practice makes permanent, okay? So, enjoy your journey to become fluent in English, all right? Okay. So, the word of the day Okay, can you read for me, Sarah? What is the word of the day? The word of the day, definition one, the quality or condition of being fluent. Definition two, the ability of to speak or write a foreign language easily and accurately. Definition three, the ability to express oneself easily and articulately. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, definition three. Definition three, the ability to express oneself easily and articulately. Very good. Okay, example sentence is? 
Example sentence, the fluency in English is essential. All right. And then the synonyms or the words having the same meaning. Eloquence, mm. articulacy, expressiveness, smartness, naturalness. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. So this is our word of the day. So every time we meet, okay, there will be our word of the day and you can improve. In this way, you can improve your vocabulary. So in connection with this, in connection with this, you have your, one of your major outputs is to have your own personal dictionary. So I'll be giving you the format or the template, how you're going to construct or to build your own personal dictionary. That will be yours, guys. That will be your uh, guidance as well. So every meeting, there will be a word of the day to be introduced, okay? But from your end, you are encouraged to collect new words, at least five new words in a day. That is a challenge. Can you do it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Five new words in a day. And you will write that or you will add that in your personal dictionary. I'll be showing you the templates or the format, how you're going to build, to construct your own uh, personal dictionary. Okay, uh -huh. so this is an additional word for you, which I'm going to introduce to you every meeting, but you have to work on from your end as well. So it, this is a challenge for you to collect at least at least uh, five new words in a day and add that in your personal amazing dictionary. So that's a sort of compilation, right? So uh, inshallah, hopefully at the end of this course, you will be, you know, reminiscing those, oh, this is my compilation during this course, okay? And you can go back again and again, all right? So fluency. So what part of speech is fluency? Of course, it is a noun, right? And there are three definitions, okay? The word in English, it doesn't necessarily that. It has one meaning, okay? Some words have different uh, in meaning, especially how we're going to use that in a sentence. That matters most. How we use the word in a sentence, okay? It might have this, this meaning, but... How you use it in a sentence, if it's in a wrong way, then that would give a wrong meaning to the to the reader, right? Or to the to the person who is listening to you. Okay. So that is why here we have three definitions. Okay. So Sarah has already uh read the definitions to us and the example sentence. Okay. So can you write in the chat box your own example sentence? using the word of the day okay it's very simple in the chat box write your own your own example sentence using the word of the day based on this three meanings or definitions of the word okay let's start okay in the chat box <laughs> Mom, I couldn't see the word of the day. Oh, really? Yeah. You can see my screen? I see your screen. I see your screen just yourself, but I don't see any. Huh? Yeah. Really? Sarah was able to read it. Are you able to yeah, read uh, Sarah? Yes, ma'am. I, was... uh, I, I wondered why I couldn't see that one. But okay, just, so I ask Richard and Sarah, are you able to see my screen? Yes, yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma full, full oh, screen. Okay. Try to zoom out, ma'am, the your screen, Miss uh, Raya. Okay. I'll just zoom oh. out. Maybe you zoom. I'm just keep on talking and talking. Eh? <laughs> yeah. I was my... looking out. That... All right. Okay, okay, Richard and Sarah, okay, the, the word of the day, Michelle, is fluency. Are you able to see it now? Fluency, um, okay. 
export with chart what's wrong <laughs> yeah i see ma'am but it's small okay okay uh, i got it i found it good. all right yeah okay the word of the day is fluency okay yes so i need you from your own words to to write your example sentence you just sing the word of the day fluency it's it's easy right okay so just a warm up warm up okay an example sentence using the word of the day fluency okay write in the chat box and then later read your own okay. example sentence yeah. i'll give you one minute i think oh. that's enough, right <laughs> okay. sarah is smiling <laughs> Sarah, Sarah said, I'm already fluent in English. Oh. <laughs> so uh, you're able to see your chat box, right? So just write your example sentence over there and we will read together. Okay. Your own words, okay? Example, don't open Google. <laughs> <laughs> This is a practice, okay? A practice for you to construct your own sentence, okay? And to expand, expand your imagination. <laughs> fluency, so fluency is a noun. So if I say fluent, what part of speech is that? Fluent. Fluency is a noun. If I say fluent, what part of speech? Fluent. Fluent is an adjective, right? Yes. yes. Fluent in English. Oh. Yeah, if we say fluency, it's a noun. Okay? Okay, Sarah. Oh, Sarah is the first one to complete the sentence. Okay, can you read your can you read your example sentence, Sarah? You were able to see it, Richard and Ray. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sarah, can you read your own your own sentence? To become fluent in English so you can easily understand and communicate others. Oh, okay. All right. May I ask, uh, Richard, where's your example sentence? I'm waiting. I'm already, yeah, I already sent. Oh, really? Yes, I'm the oh, first one. The first one. All right. All right. Okay, we will check it later. Okay, Richard, what do you think? Uh, for me, Sarah's my example. example for Sarah's example, is it incorrect? But I think this is not correct. Are we following the grammar rules in here? Are there any mistakes? Or is this already the correct form? Are there anything to correct? Or that's the correct? For me, I need, I, for me, I need to correct more. <laughs> okay, so what is wrong in here? I wrote that you need to talk the fluency in English to easily understand what you said. That's all. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. All right. Let's let's 
take a look, Miss Sarah's example, okay? So, yes, to, be, to become fluently, all right. Now, I'm asking the word of the day, fluency, which is the noun, okay? Mm -hmm. You have to use the word as a noun, right? And noun always uh, serve as a subject or as an object in a sentence, okay? So use it to become fluently. So you use the fluently here. So it's no longer a noun, correct? What part of speech you are using here, Sarah? Fluently. I think it's a number. Hmm? Yes, Richard? Adverb? Yeah. Uh... Yes, you're correct. Adverb. It will it will answer the question how. How she speaks fluently. So it's an adverb. But still you are correct, Asara, because from the word fluency, you are still using it, but different.